はい、みなさん、こんにちは。私の日本語の単語シリーズ、ようこそ。私はホストのマルサロ・カルバハルで、ここは日本語の単語を学ぶ人の場所です。はい、みなさん、ようこそ Hello, fellow YouTubers, I'm back. Welcome to my Japanese vocabulary series where we will learn about the various vocabulary terms in Japanese. Now, today I have 11 different vocabulary terms for you, so let's get started. The first term that I have here for you is mushi, mushi suru, disregarding, ignoring. So, for those of you who have been to Japan before, You can probably relate to this next example sentence. Moshi, Tokyo Jin ni eigo de hanashi kakeru to karera wa mushi shimasu. If I talk to Tokyoites in English, they ignore me. Another, another way you can say this is eigo de hanashi kakeru to Tokyo Jin wa mushi shimasu. If I talk to Tokyo Whites in English, they ignore me. Now, don't get me wrong, the Japanese are very polite and very kind, but sometimes in Japan, especially,、uh, if you're a stranger, if you're somebody that they don't know, they're going to be pretty reluctant to come up and talk to you.、Um, especially if you're a Gaikokujin, a foreigner coming to Japan. A, they don't know if you know the language or culture, and B, they'll never approach you. And even if you do approach them,、uh, they'll be hesitant to engage you because it's kind of awkward and uncomfortable for them. So just keep that in mind and take it with a grain of salt. It's not personal, it's not that they're being rude, it's just that they're trying to avoid an uncomfortable or very awkward situation. So, the next word that I have here for you is Nihon Seifu, Japanese government. Essentially, what we have here is two words Nihon, Japan, and Seifu, government. You put them together, Nihon Seifu, Japanese government. So, let's go over an example sentence Nihon Seifu wa oku no gaikoku jin wo sono kuni ni haireru koto wo. So, the Japanese government does not allow many foreigners into its country. This kind of ties into our last,、uh, our last example sentence. So, as I said before, this is a different culture, this is a different way of thinking, different language. So, just take it with a grain of salt.、Uh, the next word that I have here for you is shushin, person's origin. Place of birth, shushin. So, this is a very good word for an icebreaker, for a self introduction.、Um, I use this word quite a bit when I'm first introducing myself,、um, especially if Japanese people ask me where I'm from.、Uh, so, for example, I'm from Latin America. So, I can say something like,、uh, My birthplace is Latin America, but I was raised in Miami. So in Japanese, that would be, Watashi no shushin wa Latin America desu ga, so that she wa Miami desu.、Um, my birthplace is Latin America, but I was raised in Miami. So that's a good,、uh, a good word to, to keep with you,、uh, a good feather on your cap.、Um, so, very good. The next word that we have here is naku. To cry, cry, crying, crying voice. So, pretty much、uh, when you want to express that you're crying or somebody else is crying, you can use this word, naku. 
For example, you can say, sometimes babies cry. Tokidoki akachan ga nakimasu. Tokidoki akachan ga nakimasu. Sometimes babies cry. Pretty straightforward. So the next two items that I will give you guys are counters. So we're going to go over the counter for counting countries and the counter for counting languages. So if you want to express how many countries you've been to, you will use the counter kakoku. If you want to express how many languages you can speak or want to speak, you will use the counter kakokugo. So let's start off with the counter for counting countries. Let's say you want to express how many countries you've been to. Uh, an example sentence could be, I have been to three countries. So you would say in Japanese, Watashi wa san kakoku ni ikimashita. Or another way to say this would be, Watashi wa san kakoku ni ita koto ga arimashita. I have been to three countries. Now let's go over to the language counter. Kakokugo. So let's say, for example, that you want to express your urge or your desire to speak more languages. So, for example, I want to speak three languages. In Japanese, it would be Watashi wa san kakokugo o shaberitai desu. Watashi wa san kakokugo o shaberitai desu. Or, Another way to say this would be, Watashi wa san kakoku no kotoba o shaberitai desu. Watashi wa san kakoku no kotoba o shaberitai desu. I want to speak three languages. The next word that I have here for you guys is common sense or common knowledge. In Japanese, it would be ipan joshiki. Ipan joshiki. Common sense, common knowledge. Or you can just say, Joshiki, common sense. Pretty straightforward. So the next word that I have here for you guys is Muda. Muda means waste or uselessness. Now, Muda is a noun. If you want to turn this noun into a verb, you would add Ni suru. So then the noun Muda turns into a verb by adding ni suru and becomes muda ni suru to waste or to become useless. So let's try an example sentence here. I don't want to waste time or money. Chikan ya o kane o muda ni shitakunai. Chikan ya o kane o muda ni shitakunai. I don't want to waste time or money. The next word that I have here for you guys is shupatsu. To depart, departure. Shupatsu. So you can say something like Laishu Kanada e shupatsu shimasu. Laishu Kanada e shupatsu shimasu. Next week I will be leaving for Canada. Or next week I will be departing for Canada. The next word that I have here for you guys is hima. Hima is kind of like free time, spare time, but it also has the connotation of meaning like bored or having nothing to do. Like you have time, but you're really like bored during this period. So in Japanese,、um, you can say something like.、Uh, Hima so desu ne. Tetsudate kudasai. So, this kind of means、uh, you look like you don't have anything to do. Can you help me? Or you look bored. Can you help me? Or you look like you just don't have anything going on right now. Can you help me? Hima so desu ne. Tetsudate kudasai. The last two words that I have here for you guys are weekday and weekend. Let's start off with weekday. Hei jitsu. So, an example sentence would be She always seems busy on weekdays. Kanojo wa hei jitsu itsu mo isogashi so desu. She always seems busy on weekdays. Kanojo wa hei jitsu 
いつも忙しそうです。Now let's go over 週末 Weekend. So in English we say have a good weekend or have a nice weekend.、Uh, in Japanese it would be yoi shu matsu wo. Yoi shu matsu wo. Have a nice weekend or have a good weekend. So that concludes my list for today's episode.、Uh, please practice, please review, and continue expanding your Japanese vocabulary. Hi, Mina san, Gamba de Kudasai. Thank、you